In 1983, Roberta Williams introduced the world to a new kind of adventure. Her King's Quest games became the all-time best-selling adventure game series on the planet. Now, Roberta has gathered a team of top software engineers and artists to take adventure to a level never before achieved. So, be inside the house and look out a window. It's like, okay, we'll place all these things. But you're inside the house now. It's too spread out. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, I actually. I know what you mean. I came up to that house or that windmill, and I wanted to go look in the window. It's really bad. I just got this real urge to do that. Yeah. <laughs> It's truly a creative process. She comes in with these ideas and you just go, well, you can't do that, that's not possible. You know, we've got these tools, we can do this, now what do we do with it? We have hills and we have valleys and we have rivers, and um, your character can go and explore any of those. After we sit around and we, and we really think about it for a while and work on it, um, sometimes we find ways that we really can do that. And I think it's very stimulating and very fun to do that and you just have incredibly, in my opinion, interesting conversations. We got together and brainstormed ideas and uh, Roberta sat down with this big board and, and she mapped out the world and began to wrote down every little idea that we had. The Mask of Eternity is a game that's set in the King's Quest world, but it's not necessarily King's Quest. We have a character that's running around maybe with like knives and swords and shields and stuff and uh, it's going to have a lot more edge to it. Just get in here and, and try to draw a, a scary creature. I begin with a, a, the scariest look I can think of from a nightmare and I, and I just go for it. This is the red cap goblin that will be uh, lurking around the world and eventually you'll have to kill him so you can get by him. I think one of my favorite parts of the game right now is um, in Daventry there's a swamp and there's a swamp witch in there and she kind of looks like a, a part snake and a part alligator and part mermaid. Or Exaggerated her face to feel somewhat human-like but crossed with the reptile and she'll be able to change herself into a beautiful woman to lure you in. I want to introduce you to the monkey. A monkey is an input device that we're using to animate our model characters for this game. The physical input device, or the monkey here, the character will move along with it, and we can set poses and keyframes with this. We knew we needed to do something really drastic, not only to King's Quest, but to the adventure game genre in general, um, because it's really gotten pretty much mired down in, in sort of this 2D look. The difference between a 2D and a 3D game is in a 2D game, what you would have is basically just a flat picture. In a 3D game, what you're going to have is the experience of being able to come up, get close to the object, come around to the side, and take a look at the side of the object. A 3D world is much more immersive, much more explorative, much more feeling of the physicality of the world. In a virtual world, um, there's so much more you can do, and we're going to allow you to do it. This isn't just another King's Quest. I mean, this game really is a step beyond any other adventure game, period. It really has been taken to a new level. A mask of eternity. Ah. This game is going to be more real than any other King's Quest has been in the past. I like this game. Ow! <laughs> Ow! It's incredibly fun. I can't wait to play it.